We have Ramona Braganza here, some trainers. Just a few things to tell you about Ramona. You can see she's fabulously fit. She is also 54 years old, a fabulous 54. Your mother is 80 years old. What, is, what does she teach? She teaches Zumba, so in Brockville, so she's close by to here. And yeah, she's a Zumba instructor, uh, fitness for seniors instructor, and she keeps me motivated. I think that that's amazing because the both of you keep all of us motivated. So. <laughs> You've trained so many celebrities uh, out west because you live in British Columbia and Vancouver. Uh -huh. yep. So let's just talk about a few of the studs that you have uh, been training, including Zac Efron, uh, Jessica Alba, Ashley Simpson. All these people go in and out of Vancouver, obviously, because they do a lot of filming there. Zoe Saldana, uh, star of the new Star Trek Beyond movie, and Jamie Dornan of Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> I had to say it like that. So you're training all of these people. What, first of all, what's that like? You don't have to dish on them, but what is that like? Different personalities? You manage yeah, a lot of yeah. different personalities. Yeah, and you know, there's a big difference between men and women, obviously, when yes. they're working out. And I, I really enjoy women. Um, I was a cheerleader for many years, so I was around a lot of women. And so I really uh, think that you have to train women's body different than men's bodies. Okay. Um, the actors are all great. They're very motivated. You know, yeah. they have a goal, and they don't let anything get in their way. They have families and all, but when they're getting ready for a role, they're really motivated. Motivated. And I think we can all re achieve a level of motivation if we really put our minds to it. That is great. That's really good. We can learn a lot from that. I mean, they're getting paid millions of dollars to do it, but still, it's it's good to know that there's nothing that's going to stand in their way to reaching the goals. And sometimes the goals are pretty tough. Like yes. their bodies have to be in a certain yeah. shape. Yeah. So what do you do? You've got you've got sort of a celebrity formula that you do with your folks that we're going to show yeah. a bit of it today. Well, when I started with Jessica Alba, we didn't have a lot of time to train, so it was really about getting everything I felt was really important important in a workout into a 10 minute workout because wow. sometimes they get called on set and you're okay 10 minutes what are we going to do you know yes. and maybe you go to the gym or you ha don't have a lot of time so I do cardio first and then I do a circuit and then I do a core at the end but I do cardio circuit cardio circuit cardio core so it's six things six things one minute each okay. you could do something like that so. okay I like that so let's start with cardio then okay now you don't have a treadmill that's fine uh -huh. what's another way to move your body you can dance you can do all kinds of stuff but I like that do idea <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. We're going to do something called a skate lunge. So you've probably seen skaters on ice doing this. Right. And to take it up, you would take your leg up in the air and balance. So now we've got another element. And if you do this for one minute, you're, you're winded. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. It looks super easy. Yeah. <laughs> but if you keep doing it, you're feeling it here, you're feeling it here, you're getting your yep. cardiovascular rate up, which is really good. Yeah. And you can even touch the ground. You know, that oh, yeah, makes your really abs go. have to work. So bending over is a really good exercise. Okay. So we've done our cardio. What's right. next? Now you have a circuit of three exercises, and I always add a leg exercise in there. But we're going to start first with a push-up. Okay. Okay, so push up, if you can't do it, I always start my clients on the ground like this and say, okay, you've fallen down, now what? Well, you need to push yourself up, right? Okay. So let's just do that. Okay. So Tracy's fallen on the ground. Oh, she's going ahead and going to do our push ups. <laughs> she doesn't need to start at that first stage. No, probably you're not. You're not going to have her hold this at the top because it's about intensity in your workout. You want to. You want to push yourself, so let's hold a plank for five counts, one, two, three, four, five, five and more push-ups, five more push-ups. So now we're adding a plank in the middle of the push-ups. Three, four, five. Nice. Yay! Perfect. Okay. <laughs> All right, second exercise. There's no breaks between my exercises. Ooh, that's important to note too, mm -hmm, though, mm -hmm. because that makes a big difference in terms of the level of intensity, right? Of course. Your heart, You're not, rate. Your heart rate is never going down. Yep. Okay, Squats, so what am I going to do? Let's do a squat, but we're going to go ahead and do warm up with one regular, and then we're going to do a single leg squat. And Good. do you want me to actually sit when I go down? Touch it and stand. Or just touch. Perfect. So the goal here is to squeeze the glutes at the top. That's really what we're working the back of the legs, not the front. They look front. better when you squeeze them, anyways. <laughs> just all get into the habit of doing this at the mall. <laughs> <laughs> Squeezing it, perfect. And then we were going to do a single leg squat, so I'm going to hold her hand. She's going to lift one leg in the air. And Does it matter which one? Nope. And we're going to reach back and push ah! it to the heel. That's it. Let's go again. <laughs> perfect. So training, Much harder. Yep. Training unilaterally is really important, especially if you're an athlete or anything like that. But that means just doing one one, one leg or one arm? Then, yes, exactly. Okay. So I'm a big believer in weights for women. Me All too. my clients have trained with weights. Jessica Alba, Halle Berry, they have skinny arms and they train with weights. Okay, good. These are five pounds? Yeah. Okay. Seven, seven, seven. It's an old school uh, bodybuilding exercise. Yeah. Seven of these, we'll just do three for 
time. Okay. Okay. Three. Three. And now we're going to come up and hug a tree. So up, hug a tree, come out. Right. We'll do one of those. And then we'll do one lat raise. Love it. So that's for shoulders because a lot of the actresses, they look perfect posture. Their shoulders are wider than their little waist. So yes. that makes them look really lean. They get that V shape that everybody yep. wants. So obviously you do this accordingly in terms of the, the weights that you should be uh, using. Yeah. Shoulders, lats, yeah. all of that stuff. It usually is a lighter weight, but also there's major repetition. Yes. Right? You're doing yes. this for a long time. Yes. I usually do 20 reps, but this is yeah. a specific 777. Yeah. So finally we're going to end up with core on the floor and she's going do a plank okay and I'm going to show you the right way to do a plank so that you really are a plank that means stiff board sometimes we're down on their elbows so are you gonna go sit on me okay <laughs> just checking I'm gonna make her put her legs together completely touching and her hands squeezing tight and okay. this if I push her she's gonna push against me and she's tight she's like a plank right <laughs> she's not gonna let me push her and that means you're working everything in one straight line one minute of plank and if you're really a a pro like Tracy, she's gonna hold for two minutes. Woo! 